huge update with Adobe Spark Post. You can now add curved text and grid text. So you wanna know how, stick around and I'll show you. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips and tools on how you can share your story. As I mentioned at the start, Adobe Spark released an update on the web where you can now add curved text like this and grid text like this on your projects. The updates right now only on the web, but it will be coming soon to the mobile. But I'll show you a little trick that you can do with mobile towards the end. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you those updates. So I went ahead and launched the project already. The first thing I'm going to do is add a color background and then I'm going to add the text. And here is the key. When you go to add text, normally I go add text button here at the top. But what you want to do is choose from the templates that are available here. You see this one right here has a curved, says made in Seattle. And then this one down here is circular. And then here's your grid text. I'm going to go with the circular one. I'm going to add it to my screen here. Let me resize it a bit. And all I do is do the same thing, double click, and I can go ahead and alter the text. I'm going to put welcome to, and just put here my, channel and click done and adobe spark does the whole thing for you it adds it and notice at the bottom it says my channel it's kind of upside down normally what you would do like in software like photoshop it does it all for you here let me go ahead and let's change the color of my text here and then i'm going to just kind of spice this up a bit and add a circle here and check this out this is what i'm going to do let's click that one there Kind of center that a bit. Let's resize it first. Now let's do a little center. Let me reorder that. Change the color to white so you can see that better. And then let's say I want to add my logo here. Let's add that one to the middle. There it is. Welcome to my channel. And just like that, you add a little logo in the middle and have the curve text around it. Now, if I wanted to create something with the grid text, it's basically the same step. I'm going to go ahead and just start a new project here. So let's go to projects and we'll launch a brand new one. Let's go to custom size graphic, social post, click next. I'll do the same thing and change the color of the background. This time I'm going to go with this kind of bluish color. Go again to add the text. And this time I'll choose the grid text and let's go ahead and manipulate this a bit. Let's change the letter spacing, the line spacing, maybe make it a little bit larger and center it about there. Let's uh, type in celebrate and let Adobe Spark run its magic. Awesome. So easy to do. Let me change this color a bit here. Let's go with the red and secondary color, maybe do it as red as well. Boom. And just like that, I was able to add grid text in Adobe Spark Post, as well as use the curve text option. Now, as I mentioned at the start, this is only available on the web version of Adobe Spark Post, but, but if you are synced to your Creative Cloud account, what you'll do is open up Adobe Spark Post on your phone, and there is the actual project I created with curved text and I'm able to click on it, manipulate the text. So if I wanted to, I could always just duplicate these projects for now on my phone and continue working with these curved text and grid text options. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Don't forget to click on the bell to be notified for future videos just like this one so you don't miss them. And as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.